And what we're going to be unboxing today is the quarter scale astronaut from Blitzway, part of their uh, The Real series, one fourth scale spacewalk statue. Hello, folks, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. And this is going to be a power lifting unboxing. This thing is huge. <laughs> Uh, not only is it huge, but my god, the boxes took a beating arriving here. And and mind you, I live in Las Vegas. Sideshow, the company I purchased this from, is next door to me. It's in California. So I could only imagine what type of, of uh, beating the, the shipment would take if it was heading towards the East Coast. 39 by 16... Now, that being said, I'm going to tell you something right now. The shipping charge on this was outrageous. Over $300 is what I paid. I paid $310. Again, Sideshow is next door. Big reason is, is that these boxes are extremely heavy. Top box is 90 pounds. The second box uh, weighs about 60 pounds. 38 by 16 dimensions. Uh, it's 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 big. It's a very big box. I didn't know I didn't know that these boxes would weigh this much. If I would have known that uh, that twenty percent of the cost of, of this statue was would go, would have gone towards shipping, I I would not uh, I probably would not have purchased this. The shipping definitely uh, helped kind of sour my experience because I was really really looking forward to this again I knew it was a big piece I did see this piece in San Diego Comic-Con what two years ago 2017 so I just I didn't think it'd be this big I didn't think it'd be this heavy the packaging is pretty cool I like these velcro straps these uh velcro with the uh, with the logo with the blitzway very nice very very cool I like it very well packed for the first box. We first box has the robotic arm and the uh, quest joint airlock base uh, of slight lightness. That it, it weighs a ton. I'm just kind of kind of feeling touching around it. Uh, that is, and this is the arm. This is part of the the arm. Just looking at the detail. This is more of a. I would. I want to say it's more of a, of a cold cast resin. Very kind of uh, of a stone stone ceramic I would say very heavy now this I, I again I would have done this differently mind you because I was I was really excited unboxing this but this thing weighs a ton I struggled probably for about 10 to 15 minutes trying to get trying to figure out how to pull this out without breaking it I just I wasn't sure I was like how the hell am I gonna get this damn thing out of here I took a couple breaks and I ended up just uh, just pulling pulling really hard and kind of lifting it through the side again this first box is 90 pounds I would imagine that this thing weighs at least 50 to 60 pounds that arm is, 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 is no picnic either the detail and the paint application is beautiful very impressed so far now I laid this on my kitchen table and I should have done that because there's something that's sharp underneath this base that ended up scratching my table. So I will get in trouble for that. <laughs> Let's get to the second box. Uh, oh, I also did put the um, the other piece. I just, I, I just left it in the couch. Kind of top heavy, hoping it doesn't scratch my couch. Looks cool though. I did inspect it. Kind of looking for any chips or dings or... I'm, I'm not too sure this is my first statue piece and it's also my first statue piece from Blitzway so I'm not educated and or experienced with Blitzway when it comes to statues so first unboxing for the first box everything checked out fine everything arrived in tip-top shape second box we have the EMU space suit EMU, which stands for uh, Extra Vehicular Mobility Unit, or what I like to call a good old-fashioned spacesuit. <laughs> uh, 
top of this box includes uh, the Velcro flags of all the nations in case you want to uh, decorate your astronaut with other flags. I'm very patriotic, so I'm going to go with the American flag. Get the instructions out of there. And, uh, oh, by the way, I did read the comments. I, uh, the actual uh, instructions on the box do not use a blade. Didn't stop me. I, I had tons of experience unboxing large pieces, so I'm very careful. I would assume that they put the, uh, the warning not to use a knife just for liability issues. This is cool. First impression, beautiful. Everything looks very well packed. The arms are in its own the arms. The, the hands are in its own little uh, slots. The second part of the arm, place carefully. And I'm gonna pull the astronaut baby out. And I'm just kind of careful. And if you can see, as you're as you're my witness, you see that how the helmet is not attached to the body. That is a no-no. Mr. Astronaut arrived damaged. But at this point during the unboxing, I wasn't aware that the astronaut was broken. I just assumed I'd have to attach it or screw it on or something. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Remove the hands, all the accessories, because I want to get the boxes out of the way because I want to uh, pull out the poker table. Everything looks good. I'm just kind of studying it. Again, this is a giant piece that weighs, it's extremely heavy. Again, the second box weighs 60 pounds. The first one was 90 pounds. Here I am adjusting it. And again, I should not be doing this on the kitchen table. I later, I later learned that I ended up scratching it and kind of adjusting it there. Next is uh, I placed it on my little uh, Costco poker table and I will confess I was a little bit worried and skeptical <laughs> that this poker table could hold such a heavy piece. I kept looking around making sure that it was stable that the uh, that the legs wouldn't uh, that would th that the legs would not buckle and bend so I kept looking for that here I'm just attaching the pieces. The uh, the arms are not interlocked, so they're held with tension, weight and tension. And it slips right on. Gonna, there's a little piece of foam. Right, I don't know what this part would be used for, what the uh, what the astronaut would, would be using this for. I'm, I've never seen this could be uh, Blitzway using its creative license as to uh, what this arm is doing, I, that I'm not sure. Again, I'm just looking underneath the table, making sure everything looks good. I'm dusting off the little styrofoam, little pellets. The Quest joint airlock uh, is should be a little bit bigger. So in the instru in the uh, in the sideshow description for this piece, Blitzway uses uh, likeness. Again, for me, I would say it's loosely based because the Quest joint airlock should be a little bit bigger. That astronaut needs to fit through that hole. Uh, the arm, that, that robotic arm slipping through the Quest joint airlock, the, the, uh, the foundation, would not work. Now here I'm, in, I'm in inspecting the helmet, kind of checking it out. Uh, just looking at it, seeing that... Uh, Here's where I realized, like, oh, this arrived broken. Up, up until this point, I wasn't sure if it was broken or not. I thought for some reason it would just attach. Hello, you can see me there on the top part. Detaches. It uses two AAA batteries. Really cool LED lights. Lights up the helmet. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach the, uh, the hands. The hands are magnetic, so it slips right on. Again, everything else seems to have arrived in tip-top shape, except uh, Mr. EMU here lost his head. And slip right on. Kind of that, uh, I, I do love the statue uh, hybrid look where they were able to incorporate fabric into the polystone. Very, very cool effect. I mean, it looks surreal uh, once I have everything installed. That is the hidden button on top, pushes right on top, very cool. Now, I will jimmy 
this helmet. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little hack to kind of keep it on so that I can show you what it looks like at the end. This tool, the IAS power tool here, is part plastic and part diecast and part awesome. Very very neat. I I like uh, the amount of detail they were able to apply to this thing. It uh, it has weight to it. I I like that. I really really do. It's very heavy though. Uh, I don't know if that was such a good idea considering that a, a heavy metallic piece like this needs to be kept attached to the waist of the astronaut with a little flimsy plastic arm which I'll, I'll show you at the end. These are the safety tethers so that uh, Mr. Spaceman doesn't fly away. I'll, I'll get that attached. That is a oh, waist doohickey. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Now that is the arm that you would attach the ISS powered tool. I'll show you um, how that fits. This right here, following the instructions, you slip the peg through and adjust accordingly to make sure it's uh, attached. And then the arm, not the arm, the, the power tool, the ISS power tool, would slip right here. And you can see that this little plastic piece here did snap off. I, I can crazy glue it together, which wouldn't be a big deal. But I'm not going to because I, I did submit photos to Sideshow. Uh, showing them that my astronaut did arrive damage, so I'm going to wait for their instructions on what they uh, intend to do. If they want me to send this back, or just the astronaut, or just the helmet, I'm not sure. But I, you can see the two USB charge cables right on top. I'm using the Velcro to kind of keep the helmet up. That way, I can uh, do a little montage here, showing you what the EMU looks like. Well, I hope you enjoyed this 
unique visual tour of the Blitzway ISS EMU quarter scale astronaut. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and do not forget to ring that bell so you can be notified of upcoming visual tours from Denobi 2. Thank you.